Welcome back viewers. Today we have a look at BAM VR. Bullets and More is a weapon range simulator like hot dogs, horseshoe, and hand grenades and that comparison is very understandable in the following points, but there are also some differences to account. Number 1. Weapon Handling In BAM and H3 you can load your gun with inserting the magazine into the gun and pulling the sledge. But the difference is there BAM is very forgiving, while reloading and the ammunition snaps into the gun. Also BAM feels more like a traditional shooter than a gun simulator. Number 2. Movement, BAM got teleport, sliding and direct movement by touchpad similar to H3. All of the options feel very fluid and good for a VR game if you can handle the specific style. I stick with teleportation. Number 3. Competitive scenes, BAM got a avoid the bullet and a target aiming scene, both with leaderboards. I not much into competitive gameplay, so. Now to number 4, funny scenes, we all know the fun of H3, with BAM we get a different flavor a survival setting in Riverhead Forest. A dark wood only your flashlight will provide a little bit of sight, for my taste a bit too scary. But with the integrated level editor you can build your own settings. There are already some very nice levels in the workshop. Users are able to create little settings against soldiers, zombies, horror deers, or wooden targets. Now to the downsides of BAM. In the moment the editor is a bit complicated with the different menus and spawning mechanism. The snapping of titles is an interesting approach but feels clunky in the moment. Also a big no-go is to move the player while tilting the head. Never do this. Let the head clip into the wall but never move the player it feels terrible as special on stairs. But overall I am very interested to see the influences from BAM to H3 and the other way around. And for the users I hope to see many different workshop creations in the future. Have fun! Here's some editor gameplay. Now it snaps. Spawning a mass of items is bad because you have to reopen the menu every time or grab around it. With some time you can build nice settings. But I hope for non-VR editor too. Doing everything in VR is very exhausting. This light is a bit too small to provide enough lit area to shoot zombies in the middle of the night. For the menu system the player should maybe read the tutorial. But it's nice to click them. Here my second attempt of a map. It's a idea I got for a room scale VR game. Tower Defense Zombies Save your home from the attack by placing your people to shoot. And manage the resources scavenger teams collect. Mark places on a map drive there and cover the team from a roof of a bus or something. Help the towers by grab your familiar rifle and shoot the zombie in the heads. Please add a border or auto wrap here. Let's play.